Hey friends, happy Monday. I'm Melanie with Cedar Grove Farms and welcome to our Monday night live sales. As you hop on, say hello so that I know that you're here and so that Facebook will show us to more people. It has been a scorcher here today. My husband was saying it's going to be only 90 tomorrow. That's funny when that's what we have to look forward to, only 90, but hey, every little decrease in temperature is great. So if you have not joined us before, this is how this works. Hey, Peggy. I have a numbered list of items. Tonight I have 30 five items on the list. That's right, Abby. I added a few things last minute. Hey, Randy. And I am going to show you the items, tell you all about them, and show you some ways to use them, and then give you a price. If you would like to purchase the items, comment sold and the item number. Hey, Linda. Hey, Abby. So if you want item number four, comment sold number four. If you want two of number four, say sold number four times two. Some items we have will be low stock or vintage items where we only have one. Go ahead and comment backup in the item number. If someone beats you to it, in case we suddenly find another one, you will get first dibs. Hey, Hot Rod, thank you for the shout out. Loved your basket that you did, that looked great. Hey, Lisa, hey, Tammy, and this week is our French Flower Garden event. Hey, Pam Miller. So, Corey with Greyhaven Gardens will be here. She makes these gorgeous fresh cut flower arrangements. She's a local grower. She's in Hartzell, and she's the same talented lady who planted our garden. So, you can walk through our garden, ask Corey questions, and buy her gorgeous flower arrangements to take home. Hey, Loretta. All right. I have got some cool stuff for you tonight. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hey, Sue Caton, we were talking about you today. Let me clean my glasses. You know how old people and their glasses are. They're always dirty. Hey, Lauren. Oh, um, we got in a new order of French soaps today. We have not even opened the box. It came in like at 517, but will be some wonderful new scents in the uh, French soap box. So super excited about that. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Uncle Bill. Hello, Unc Aunt Sue. I'm assuming she's there with you. So, first up, one of my favorite things to decorate with is vintage ash buckets. Love the brass and the copper. So, tonight we have a copper one I just found. So, it has the lion's head detail here. Then you've got the blue and white ceramic handle. This one is a wonderful, manageable size for flower arrangements. Probably doesn't hold much when it comes to ashes, but that is the perfect size for floral arrangements. So we got a little bit of a uh, scar here, and we got a little bit of a dent on the foot down here. Otherwise, this is in excellent condition since it's got both of its ceramic handles still intact. And let's see, does the handle move? Yes, the handle still moves. So I love these for floral arrangements, both faux or real. So all kinds of wonderful things you can do with that. Hey, Karen Broom. Hey, Jane. So this is item number one, vintage item. So the only one. It is 15 inches tall, 14 inches wide, $39. So item number one, the vintage brass ash bucket has the blue and white ceramic handles. That's the truth. We all have scars and dents for sure. 15 inches tall, 14 inches wide, $39. So first up, I am going to decorate this for everyday slash 
very neutral fall because I really like to try to show you how to transition some things. So first I'm going to add item number two. This is our pimpernel bush. You've got the soft greens and yellows in there. This is, let's put the glasses on, $5. So item number two, $5. And I'm going to pair that with one of our wonderful all season pieces. And that is our linen seeded hydrangea bunches. So there are three different hydrangeas per bunch. They're tied with a little raffia ribbon. Love these because you have the cream, you have the green, and then you have the little bits of brown on the stems that you can really play up for fall. So these are item number three, and they are $15.50 per bundle. So I'm going to open up item number two, which is the pimpernel bush, and nest the hydrangea in there. And so you see the pimpernel bush is shorter than the hydrangea. So I want to push it down to where the tendrils of the pimpernel bush are really sticking out, okay? Because I want this to give me a lot of flow. Then I'm going to start layering. And let's see, let me put some scissors on there because it's not heavy enough to stay in. There we go. So there's another little trick. Put something on there to hold it in until you get enough in there to hold themselves. So some of these I've already done. So I'm just going to kind of choke it up like I showed you where really want to get that hydrangea embedded down in there because I want all these frilly little tendrils sticking out. And I'm gonna work in kind of a circular motion like I always do. Another one on this side. I guess I'll just leave the scissors in there now that I've covered them up, but I could pull them out at this point. One really, when I did this earlier today, it didn't look quite right, and that's what I didn't do is really push those hydrangeas down in. Hold up there, buddy. Put one more in. See what a difference it's making having those sticking out. I noticed this one wasn't sticking out quite enough, so I'm going to adjust it a little bit, get all those little pieces sticking out. All right, last bunch. So this would be gorgeous sitting beside your fireplace as a table centerpiece. This would be really cute beside your front door, sitting on a chair or some kind of little stool. Up high on top of a cabinet. I love something on top of the refrigerator too, because you know, the refrigerator's utilitarian, but not pretty. This gives you something to draw the eye up. But how gorgeous is that? So beautiful for every day, but also gives you a soft, neutral fall look. So quick recap on all of this. Item number one, the vintage solid brass ash bucket, 15 inches tall, 14 inches wide, $39. Item number two, the greenery, the pimpernel bush, $5. Item number three, the linen seeded hydrangea bunches are $15.50. So now you could stop right there. Or if you wanted to take it a step further, we could add item number four. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. <coughs> Me go get some water. I can tell this is one of those tickles that's not going to stop. <clears throat> okay. So, item number four the pimpernel hanging bush is $12. So, now if I wanted this to be 
just a little bit more. And you could even take out some of the regular if you didn't want quite as much greenery, but you wanted this trailing effect. So just put that in. You can leave it just hanging out the back, or it's really pretty to kind of swoop it around. I really like this look when this is up high on top of a cabinet. So imagine it's on the cabinet and then you've got this kind of hanging down. That makes it super pretty. And another option we can do with this is to add some of our white pumpkin stems if this isn't quite fall enough for you, but we're still keeping it on a very neutral look. So this is item number five, our white pumpkin stems. It's got the white pumpkin, the green whitewashed, and the gray whitewashed. Hey, Polly. Hey, Jacqueline. Hey, Nisa. And some white berries. So now, if we want to make this look a little bit more fall, we can pop in a couple of these. I love how you can make these kind of drape down. I'm gonna add in one more, kind of up high. You can stop there with two, and especially if it's only gonna be seen from one side, you could do two. And if you want just a little bit more, we can add one more to drape down. So this definitely says fall. Thank you. So the thing I added here was item number five, the white pumpkin stem. Those are $8. Now, if you had this as your everyday look without the pumpkin stems, and you wanted it to be a little bit more colorful, then we could add these mini berry bushes. So these have the little mini berries glued all over them. So this is item number six, the mini berry bunch, and they are 750. So quite large. I'm gonna take a minute and separate these out. You know, with your florals, you get out of them the time you put in them. And that is shaping them, making them look more realistic, and also making them larger so that you don't need quite as many to get a really good effect. These come kind of glued together, so takes, there we go. Got them pretty spread out. It doesn't take much of this to add in a pop of color, but I'm gonna have to spread it out before I stick it in there or else it's gonna get lost. So this is what you would expect to do too, because you know when they send them to us, they want to get as many in a box as possible, so they are really crammed down. So now I'm just going to push this way down in, and I'm going to spread all those little pieces around. See if we can get by with one. All right, so now the problem is our handle. We can just come underneath the handle there. This gives you that whole thrill factor again of something that's tall but wispy. Okay. And really mix it in. That's what makes it look its best is that it's not in a clump. That it looks like all these several pieces spread out. And one is plenty because we're wanting just a little touch of orange. I'm going to mash it down in a little bit more. And I want a little more trailing out the back. And that totally moved this, that is really distracting, totally changes the look of it. No doubt now that it's fall, but yet it still has more of a neutral look. And actually should take a minute and pull just a little bit more down here in this clump, as this clump has none. 
There we go. But now with just one flower or one berry bunch, I guess, you have completely changed the look of it and given it definitely a fall look. So that was the mini berry bunch, item number six, seven fifty. Mini Berry Bunch packs a lot of punch for $7.50, doesn't it? Okay. So, that got us up through item number six. We have any newbies tonight? Anybody that it's your first time watching? If so, let us know so that we can watch out for your questions and be sure to help you out. So, up next, this piece is something that again would be good in so many different ways this would also be perfect next to your front door on a smaller side table on top of a large cabinet or as part of a centerpiece so this is item number seven this is our 22 inch gold lantern this is the last one that we have it is all metal and has no glass in it so that if it gets knocked over, oh well, no problems. So this is item number seven, 22 inch gold lantern, last one, $57. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Teresa. All right, so we are going to add to this item number eight. This is our fall, fall leaf wreath. It is item number eight, it is $18. It also has a center that is very uh, metal, so bends really nicely. We're just gonna work it into the center of our lantern. You could sit the lantern on top of it as well. I just really like the look of it inside the lantern. Fluff it up a little bit. Makes the lantern look bigger. Love the leafy look. Then we are going to add item number nine. That is another of my fall favorites. This is our bittersweet candle ring. Even though the opening is really tiny, this thing opens up and makes a huge display huge. So this is item number nine, the bittersweet candle ring. It is $11. And there we go. Going to put it in. Just really bumps up the color by adding this in. The greens in it just go perfectly with the greens and the leaf, and then you have those wonderful bittersweet. You can train these up and tall, or out and long, or a little bit of both. But such a much bigger visual impact when we add that beautiful bittersweet. Hey, Pam. Now we need something to go in the center. So in the center, we are going to do item number 10. This is our cream heather half sphere. So this is spiky and wide. This is a, almost 12 inches wide, so a nice full piece. And it is item number 10, $14. I'm just going to stick that in the center. That contrast of the cream with these darker colors just really makes this pop. So beautiful piece that can easily be changed up for Christmas or spring. Then to top it off, give it a little bit more of a French country look, we're going to add item number 11. This is our seven inch cross, item number 11, and it is $12. And we're just going to hang that from that. And now we've got 
our little bit of French country bling. You could forego this and put a candle in there. You could put a gourd in there. So many different ways to use this. So, recap on this. Item number seven, the 22 inch gold lantern. It's our last one of these available and it is $57. Item number eight, down here on the bottom, the leaf wreath, $18. Item number nine, the second wreath here, is the bittersweet candle ring, $11. Item number 10, the cream heather half sphere, $14. And item number 11, the seven inch gold cross, $12. And of course, with these big rings, these candles can be, I'm sorry, candles. Lanterns can be hung also. If you haven't seen one of these hanging on a shepherd's hook, that is really pretty as well. Okay. That got us up through item number 11. Item number 12 is so pretty. So one of my favorite basket, this is our pot belly basket. See the little pot belly? This is just a great shape for year round. It has a small opening, so you're not having to put so many florals in it. It has a little hanger. It also will sit by itself, so quite a versatile basket. So this is item number 12, the white pot belly basket. It is $30. We also have this in a weathered gray. And to that, I'm going to add item 13. This is our fall eucalyptus. Let me get in a little closer so you can see the color. So you have the normal green, but then it's tinged with some oranges, like this is starting to change colors in the fall. This really helps pick up all of your other oranges and fall colors. So this has a grapevine type wreath that's round. You see, we've already bent it. So these are generally not too hard to bend. This is actually angel vine. See how it's those tiny little vines? Because grapevine's a little bit harder to bend, but we just bent it into more of an oval shape to fit the shape of the basket. Hey, Julie, hey, Nancy, hey, Jamie. So now I'm going to sit my wreath on the basket letting it kind of hang over past the hanger. So what I do is when you hang this with an S hook, then it sticks out from the wall or door a little bit and then you don't have any problem. So the fall eucalyptus wreath is item 13, $32. And we're gonna add The fall eucalyptus stems, same color in a stem. These are item number 14 and they are $7. So we're going to start putting these in. Okay. Then I'm gonna add item number 15. This is one of our tall, dried magnolia leaves. So these look ridiculously real, just like a dried magnolia leaf, but they're not going to crumble. And you can put this up and use it year after year. This is a really long one, about 32 inches long. So this is item number 15, $9. And I'm going to put it in the back there. Then we're going to add in some pops of color. This is brand new this year, going to be an absolute favorite. This is our orange ginkgo stems. Look how pretty that is. So you have the darker side and the lighter side and you can kind of manipulate it and turn them around as you'd like, but just a beautiful pop of color. So this is item number 16, the orange ginkgo stems, and they are $9. Let's 
see how much that just really pops when we add that orange in there. And also takes on a lot of a red tone as well. So can really put it with either orange or red. Let's see, I think I may want this in the front and that in the back. Oops, hold up, there we go. So now we have the green and we have the browns. We need something with a lighter color to contrast. So next up, we're gonna add item number 17. These are our cream heather stems. Earlier with the lantern, I showed you the cream heather half sphere. This is the stem version, nice and full. So this is item 17, $8. And so see when I add these in, it's just such a pop of white in all of the dark. Then to finalize this, we're gonna add one last thing. This is not on the list. So this is the small dried magnolia stem. This one is $5. Hey, Rebecca, good to see you. Hope you got your package in safely. Actually, I don't think I want it. I think I want to pull this to the front and not use that. It's always nice when you can use a few less florals. Just get our pop of white there. Then we've got all this extra space here. And you know we like to put something on there to fill that space. So we're going to do a round top print. And so you'll just pull this down a little bit to cover that up. And we're gonna add item number 18. This is our blue vase fall round top. All of these are six inch square and $19 each. There's only one of these available. This is item number 18. And we just put an S hook on the front and see how that picks up all of the colors that are in the basket with the round top. Then another round top option is item number 19. This is a more whimsical look. You've got the pumpkins with the red flowers and the black and white ribbon. So this one is item 19, also $19, two of those available. You see how it picks up all of the orange and red tones. Hey, Tony. Then last option for this is item 20. This is the Cardinal on the dried sunflower. There are two of these available, also $19. You see now how this picks up all the red tones in here. So this would be beautiful for front door, wall, so many different places to use that. So quick recap on all of this. Item number 12, the white pot belly basket, $30. Item 13, the fall eucalyptus wreath, $32. Item 14, peeking out of the back here, is the fall eucalyptus stems, $7. Item 15, the tall dried magnolia stem, $9. Item 16, the gorgeous new orange ginkgo, ginkgo stem, $9. Item 17, the cream heather stem, $8. Then our different round tops. Item 18, the blue fall vase, $19, last one. Item 19, the pumpkin with red flowers, $19, two available. And item 20, the cardinal with sunflower, two of these available, $19, item 20. Abby and I were working on a fall porch 
display for you guys today. So we took lots of pictures and videos. So keep an eye out for that. We'll be releasing those to give you some good fall front porch inspo. I know it's hot now, but it's so nice to have it done and look at it when you're inside in the air conditioning. <laughs> okay, that got us up through item 20. All right, so now another fun piece. So we're going to be using item 21. This is one of our open wire pumpkins. We call this one rust. It can look black from a distance and you get up close, you can kind of see the rusty color. I meant to count how many of these we have and I forgot, but I can tell you it's not very many in this size and color. So this one is a medium. I honestly think we have two, but don't hold me to that. But uh, we do have some large ones. So I think we only have two mediums. So this is item number 21. Rusty Wire Pumpkin, it is $39. Give you a quick measurement. So it is 14 inches tall and 14 inches wide. Has a little uh, stem in the bottom that you could put a real candle on. I really like to use the battery operated candles because I'm lazy. I like to be able to hit the button and poof, the candle comes on. So this would be beautiful on your front porch, on your steps, or anywhere in the house. So all kinds of ways to use this. Then we're going to add to this one of the fall eucalyptus wreaths that I just used in that last arrangement. This was item number 13, and it is $32. And I am going to sit the pumpkin on top of this going to kind of take a minute and get all of the greenery kind of up and through so we're not just mashing it down and it looks like it's been growing up through here. There we go. Then we are going to add one of our round top prints. This is the little black truck with pumpkins. This one is also six inch square and $19. It is item 22, two of these available. And I'm going to use this little space here to hold him up. Of course, he's not gonna stand up since you're watching. Okay, little round top pumpkin. We're gonna lean him back for a moment. We'll, when we get our other things in there, he'll behave better. Okay. Something has disappeared. Here we go. I used several of these things more than once. So we are adding to that Item number 23, these are our orange velvet mini pumpkins. Item 23, they are $2.50 each. And we're just gonna make a little pumpkin stack right here and really makes the pumpkins in the round top stand out. And for some reason, when we had that over there, my little round top guy stood up just fine so I guess I would have to put some little something behind it that is shorter than that. How about that? It's cheating, but there you go. So I would put a little book behind it to make it stand up, move the ugly tag out of the way. Let's see if I can pick it up without it all falling. Nope, I can't. Let's see, yeah, I can. I will figure it out. But there you go, how cute is that? So recap on this, item number 
21 is the Rusty Wire Pumpkin, 14 inches tall, 14 inches wide, $39. This was item 13 we had used before, the Fall Eucalyptus Wreath, $32. This is item 22, the black truck with pumpkins round top print, two of these available, $19. And item 23, the orange velvet mini pumpkins are $2.50. So now I want to show you a second way to use this. So now I'm going to use some gourds. So it takes a little patience and finagling to get the gourds in. And I have to say, the fall eucalyptus wreath was item 13. Item 13 is the fall eucalyptus wreath. Okay, this is item 24. This is a gooseneck gourd. We have two of these available. The other one is just a little bit smaller than this one. So item 24, gooseneck gourd, $8. So the pumpkins generally have one section that's a little bigger than the others. There we go. And so I'm gonna start getting my gourds in. Then I'm gonna add item 25. This is a black pear gourd. See, it has that pear shape to it. And it is $6. It is the only black one that I have. All right. Just as I said, it takes a little patience. Let's see if I can come through. There we go. There's our black one. Then item, let's see, the black one was item 25, $6. Item 26, an Short pear gourd, also $6. I love this side of it. Such a cool piece. So item 26, short pear gourd, $6. And going to put that in there. Then all of this is very neutral. So we want some pops. So I'm gonna go back in and add those little mini velvet pumpkins. Just gonna sprinkle that around and see how much of a pop of color that gives. But now very organic, very natural. So on the new items I added, item 24, the gooseneck gourd, two of these available, $8 each. There's one, it's probably about this tall, so about two inches shorter than that one. Item 25, the black pear gourd, $6, last one that color. Item 26, the short pear gourd, $6. And this one I had given you already, that was item 23, the orange velvet mini pumpkins, 250, and the fall eucalyptus wreath was item 13, $32. All right, let's see if I can move this. Yeah, all right, that got us up through. Oh, thank you. I love to use gourds. And there will definitely be some gourds in all the videos that we did today. So, super excited to show you all those. Okay, so we've done a lot of arrangements for tabletops, etc. So, now we're going to do a little fall vignette. Showcasing some of the cute new pieces we've just gotten in. Some that are fall and some that are every day. So this is item number 27. This is our small white beaded riser. See the little beads all the way around? We have a larger version as well. This one is 13 and three quarter inches long by seven inches wide, $24. And to that, I'm gonna add item 28. This is one of our black round top holders. So we have three different little vase bases, three different bases, and has a little rod for hanging your round tops on. These are $27.50, and that is item number 28. So item 28, black round top holder, $27.50. 
27.50. To that, I'm going to add one of our pastel pumpkin round tops. So you've got the white pumpkin and then kind of the orangish green, orangish green pumpkin. That is item number 29 and it is $19. I did not count those, but I see another one right now, so I know there are at least two. Then I'm going to add our glass urn. This could be used every day, but I just love this for fall because you have all the dark browns and golds in there. So glass, I've just put a little bit of um, bubble wrap in there to hold up some of the things I'm going to put in there. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Sheila. So the glass urn is, whew, felt like it was moving. Item number... 30, it is $12. To that glass urn, I'm going to bring back once again the cute little orange velvet pumpkins. I like to try to use the same things over and over as much as I can to show you their versatility. So you could just stack a couple in there. You're wanting to spread the same color around. So, so we've got orange, 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 and that makes the eye jump around when you have them at different heights. And we're doing that whole triangle effect again. And then up front, I'm going to add this cool new piece. This is item 31. How gorgeous is he? Absolutely gorgeous. Superman bunny or yoga bunny. He's flying through the air. Or he's, hmm, he's trying to, it's definitely not down dog. His booty's not up in the air. Almost plank pose. So super strong Superman bunny. He is cast aluminum with a brass finish. Let's see, did I measure him? I did not. So I will do that really quick for you. He is... 10 and a half inches long, and he is five, a little over five and a quarter inches tall. And we just spread him out there. He picks up all the gold tones in there. Try to move his ugly tag out of the way. And of course, he's something you could use every day. Take the pumpkins out, change that up, put a different round top on there, and you could use this year round. So, the bunny, did I give you a price on him? He was item 31, he is $37. So, quick recap on all of this. Item 27, the white beaded riser, 13 and three quarters inches long by seven inches, $24. Item 28, the black round top holder, $27.50. Item 29, the pastel pumpkins, $19. Item 30, the glass urn, $12. The orange velvet mini pumpkins were item 23, and they are $2.50. Then we've got item 31, the cast aluminum rabbit is $37. So now, change this up a little bit. If we want a little more softness here, bring in, this is one of our Seraphine mini wreaths. You see my finger, it is mm, maybe two and a half inches across. This would also be really cute as a napkin ring. So we put the little Seraphine mini wreath on the, mini candle ring on there. It is item 32, $6. Then come back with one pumpkin and see the difference that makes? I love the softness that all these little wispy greens give everything. So, such a nice change. So, again, that was item 32, Seraphine Mini Candle Ring, $6. Or, if we want to make it look even more fall and even more dramatic, 
This is the bittersweet candle ring that I showed you earlier. It was item number nine and it is $11. And we just put that on top. And then it's a little bit bigger, so we need two pumpkins to fill that up. Okay, there we go. But much more dramatic when we have that bigger one on there. You can also take a little time, shape this, some of it going down, some of it going up and out, and makes it very, very fall. There you go. So once again, the last item I just added was the bittersweet candle ring I showed you earlier, item number nine, $11. Now we've got one last vignette. Then we are going to do a quick shop tour on the porch. So, you know, we have reset everything for fall. And for those of you who haven't been here, there's a lot of new stuff to see. So I toured you around the shop last week, going to do the porch this week, and then next week we'll go inside the barn so that you can see all the goodies and I'm going to try to hop on tomorrow and do a longer tour, let you see more stuff. All right, so this next piece, I am envisioning this in the den on the coffee table, but this would work just as well on a kitchen table or an entryway. But the main reason I was thinking of this for the coffee table is because I love to have the remote and coasters and maybe a book at the coffee table, but I kind of don't want to see them. So this is a way to give you something pretty, but also to be able to store, hide your necessary items that aren't quite as pretty. So this is item number 33. This is a vintage wood caddy. So it is vintage. I only have one of these. It has the slats and then the handle. It's nice and low, so it's not going to block anything. The measurements on this are 18 inches by 14 inches. It is item 33, one of these available, and it is $34. Then to that, I'm going to add item 34. This is our fabulous hops bush. Hops bush are $10. And I'm going to decorate the front of the caddy, the side that would be facing out that your guests would see as they come in. And then on the back side is where you could hide your remote. You could put a pretty book on there and put your remote beside it. You could also do um, a pretty book and a candle on the other side. All kinds of things. Trying to give this just a little more oomph. There we go. So we got Two on each side is the goal. Y'all should start taking bets on how many things I'm going to drop during the live sale. See who wins. <laughs> oh. Fumble fingers. Okay. So, all this beautiful greenery. Then right in the center, we have a hole. We're going to use this fabulous bittersweet once again. We have used them several, several times. Uh, the round top holder was item 28. Uh, we also have those in white and cream. So this is was item number nine, the bittersweet candle ring, $11. This one is pretty compact still, so I'm going to spread it out just a bit but i like to show you lots of ways to use your pieces because they are so versatile and when you get tired of them in one area just move them to something else and use them in a different way then on top of that 
we are going to add another cute little fat pear gourd. So this is item 35. This one has a lot of black, but it isn't all black. And it is $6. And see how cute. So now you have this pretty area to look at sitting on your table. Functional side on the other side. You can see so a green book and a nice candle and slide your remote up under there. You can even slide it up under here and hide it. Then you always get to be king of the remote because only you know where it is. I'm not speaking from um, experience. But super cute piece. All right. Um, recap on this. Item 33, the Vintage Wood Caddy, 18 by 14, $34. Item 34, the Hops Bush, $10. This was item 9 that we reused, the Bittersweet Candle Ring, $11. And item 35, the Pear Gourd, $6. So if you have not seen our fall t-shirts they are so so cute and we are so excited to be wearing a new shirt and we have a gorgeous christmas one that's in and if you joined us late i was saying that we just got a whole new order of french soaps these aren't them but these are the ones we already had hey miss ann and we didn't even get a chance to open them, so we'll be opening those tomorrow. Mickey Smith, if you're on here, we did get in the almond scent that you requested. And I know we got lavender and pineapple. We restocked on argon oil. That was one that sold out quickly when we got them in before. So... The cicadas are very loud. And we got our fountain running. So this is more of the hops that I showed you. So this is the bush that I showed you. This is the candle ring, or sorry, wreath version. Wreath version. And then the half spheres. We really love to use um, grapevine wreath this time of year. You see, we put it in all kinds of things. Gives you that fall feel. We have a smaller candle ring version of this that we'll see in just a bit. We've got our outdoor decor coming together there. These are our large metal, whoops, sorry, <laughs> uneven ground large metal jack-o'-lanterns and spiders. So the jack-o'-lantern bucket, you put your lights down in there. It's beautiful with a live um, mom coming out of the top. And then that's a spider there on the bottom. He looks great with a, a mom sitting in him or even better with uh, one or two of the uh, pumpkins on there. You can do a big round pumpkin like it's the spider's belly, or you can stack up a couple of the uh, turban pumpkins, you know, the ones that are kind of flat. Cows are all out. They've been all crowded under the tree today. The grass is so high you can barely see them. I'm hoping that they're gonna cut the hay soon so they can bale it up. We've brought one of our wonderful potting benches up here on the porch so that you can see those. Great time of year to get a potting bench, get everything ready for fall. This looks really cute. This is the rusty white version of the pumpkin I showed you tonight. We've got the moss balls in it. You got it, Miss Pam. Love ferns this time of year. Also, especially these fiddlehead ferns with the little brown fiddleheads. Use those in everything. 
Then this is that same fall eucalyptus wreath that we showed you. This is a larger version of the one that we showed you tonight. And then we've got the huge Hershey Kiss gourds here on top of uh, one of our summer sun-washed wreaths and a great vine wreath. Then this is a different fall leaf, kind of a little bit softer colors on that. And our flamed copper hummingbirds, our cute little Queen Anne bird houses, try to stay out of the way, my shadow. I love the sound of the fountains out here. And this guy is super cute. Look at this face. He's so cute. So he is just a pumpkin, he has the opening so that you can sit him down over a candle. He is the last one of his size left. He's $34. Then some of our replicas of the European wall fountains we use as planters and then this is the mustard version of the heather I showed you the cream tonight and another wonderful front porch piece we've got the beautiful urn and then the larger version of the fall leaf wreath that I showed you tonight with one of the big Hershey's Kiss gourds and one of our wire cloches and then one of our antique jardinieres. How much is the mustard one? It is 14 also. Let me double check, but I believe that was what the cream was, but it will be the same. Of course, that one doesn't have a tag on it, but yes, I'm 99% sure that that's what the cream one was, was 14. Abby, is that what the cream half sphere was? Because it would be the same price, just a different color. And look how good this looks for the front porch. All we've done is taken one of our evergreen half spheres and set it on top of a grapevine wreath. Love that look. And then you could even take um, one of the bittersweet candle rings and have that poking out to give you a little bit of orange. Then this is the large version of that pumpkin that I just showed you over there, the metal. Last one of that size, also a small and a large. This is the Hops Candle Ring with one of our cast iron birds. And this is a really cute arrangement it's sitting on the ground. We're supposed to have high winds tomorrow, so we have put some things down. This is the Hanging Hops. Love decorating with those. Great time for the bird houses still. I know our birds are busy, busy, busy still. And then this is something we've just gotten in. This is called a rice spray. Looks like some kind of funny corn, but I love the color and that it's so different. And look how pretty it looks. There we've got it in the black wall fountain and adore this this would be beautiful on your front porch right by the door another one of our metal planters then we've got the rice stems and our um, starburst blooms and a birdhouse then this is our smilex hanging stems mixed in with the Rudbeckia. What's the leaf stem in the yellow and orange? This is a new one we've just got in this year. This one right here. So this is the 
fall leaf stem in the orange. And then this is yellow. You might say there's a little orange in there, but it's pretty much yellow. These are $9 yellow eucalyptus. Let me know, Pam, if I got the right one. And then also our wind chimes. We just restocked on those, the ones with little gold European bells. We've got a few of the flamed cardinals left. They hang on a fishing line, so those are pretty hung in trees and on baskets because the fishing line just blends in. It looks like they're flying. Very fun. And another more of our bird houses and feeders. You can see I robbed this to bring you the stems, the uh, linen hydrangeas. Those are really, really low. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We loved having you. Oh, okay. They weren't exactly like the yellow, but they are, I know which ones you're talking about now. These are not eucalyptus. They're a fall leaf right here. Very similar. And let me find one so I can give you a price on those. These are nine dollars. Those that is one stem right there, Pam. So they are a big stem. They're probably going to be about thirty-two inches long. The corbels are four fifty for the pair. Those are antique corbels from Leesburg, Ohio. They are our biggest ones. They are gorgeous on a fireplace. So thank you everyone for joining us tonight. We will be monitoring any more uh, questions that you have or comments and answering those for you tomorrow. If you are a first time buyer, be sure you message us your email address so that we can send you an invoice. We don't pull any items until we have an email address. Then we will also need your shipping address if you need shipping so that we can calculate shipping. And we'll be pulling all those orders tomorrow. If you are watching us later, then that is great. Please tell us replay so that we know that you got on later. That just helps our Facebook reach, so we really appreciate that. We'll be open normal hours this week, which is actually normal plus one it's our event weekend so thursday friday and saturday this week so that will be 10 a.m to 5 p.m all three days we'll have some yummy snacks to sample this weekend and we will have corey from gray haven gardens here with her gorgeous fresh cut floral arrangements hey gwen hey jackie i was just thinking about you jackie and we will enjoy getting to hang out with you in person this weekend. Thanks so much.